do it for them. Kenyan men, learn. Munshia. Why? If you get a Nigerian man Ice. and he loves you, hey, ah. you can never have your own man. Be like something simple. Kenyan sequels. men will keep you indoors and cook ugali and sambulim. They know why they are calling. I didn't know she. He had a wife. I, you knew. To so stop pretending you knew. Because Kenyan women can drink <laughs> alcohol. That is why she has not dated a Nigerian. Today, that is where we're going. We're, we're talking going about what? We're going to talk Nigerian about positive name. side of dating West African men. There is nothing positive about them, by the way. So if you compare, let's say, a Kenyan guy who came in Doha in 2013 and a Nigerian uh, man, oh, they are not, huge there's a difference. huge difference. Because let me say this in Kiswahili, they will tell you, Kenyan men don't do this for you. No. Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I don't want to talk to you. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Hi guys. Karibuni sana katika channel yetu. Leo tutakuwa tunongea Kiswahili. Hii channel ni ya Malik Stanley. Lakini ni meichukua kama yangu leo. Na tunataka kuongea kuhusu wasichana wanao tembea na wa Nigeria. Kama uliangalia video yetu ya... <laughs> Kama uliangalia video yetu iliyopita ambayo tuliongea kuhusu mambo ambayo wa Nigeria wanafanyia uki uki Wait, on... is speaking long <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys okay, I'm, trying, I'm trying to speak Swahili and my Swahili is good It's very my Swahili bad. is not Swahili <laughs> My Swahili is very embarrassing Anyway guys welcome to Malik Sunny channel Okay so guys yeah, welcome back again to our YouTube channel. So this is going to be like a continuation of the previous video that we had. I realized that you people want more because you asked for more. So in today's video, we're basically going to talk about the positive side of dating West African men. In quotes, Nigeria. Now it's like Ni <laughs> Nigeria is the only country that is projecting West African over there. So even on the, uh, in, the, in the previous video, people were like, please stop saying West African. Yeah, just know that we are only talking about <coughs> Nigerian men. So. Today, that is where we're going. We're, we're talking going about to, what? We're going to Nigeria talk about the positive name. side of dating West African men. There is nothing positive about them, by the way. For me, I just have negative. And you know, for what reason? I don't want have positive side. I want no. problems. No. Positive for, side. For, for, for some reason, everyone thinks in, in our previous video, we spoke even much more than she did. Because guess what? You have never dated any West African, but you, you had a lot to say. <laughs> All right. There was something I had in. Okay, I've never dated a Nigerian so, guy, but, but that's what? Eh, it can be experience for my friends, can mm. be experience from no. meeting the them. You are giving, they were too detailed, like the information you are giving, they were no, too I've never, detailed. Actually, I've never Maybe dated a Nigerian I admire she them from a distance them. before they speak. So why don't you try them? No, I, I admire them from a distance before they open their mouth. But once they open their mouth, that's it. You need to learn for your life, huh? Learn for your life. <laughs> Because everyone is crying oh, out here, so please tell me something positive about them today. So okay. many positive things, okay. actually. Okay, so yeah, we have a few things over here. I mean, they are very lengthy, so but many. yeah, we'll just hit on them. And if you have uh, your take, you can just put them on the comment section. I mean, this is just opinion. Mm -hmm. So the first point over here says, uh, like, no, I was like, you have a, so West African men add value to your life. They help you grow. Yes. You understand? So, yeah. Okay, so I, I would say that from a point of being a West African, I think. Bye -bye. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, that is so true. <coughs> now, it's true. if we ever happen to be in a relationship with another nationality, which probably not from West Africa, we make sure we represent West Africa. We make sure we represent properly, even if in bed or wherever that we find ourselves in a relationship, we make sure we represent properly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What are you saying? I'm saying we represent <laughs> properly. We make sure to to put the, the name up can there. You, can, you, can you give the lead to someone who can explain that? Because <laughs> I can feel like you are talking about yourself now. I'm not talking can, about myself. Can, can you give that? <laughs> okay. Basically, okay, now, now, dating, okay. dating Nigerians, they mm -hmm. will definitely add value to your life. Like, for instance, they will she want to Nigeria. know... This guy has you just mentioned Nigerians. West Africans. I don't have experience of West exactly. Africans generally, but Nigerians. Exactly. I've okay. not dated Ghanaians, Cameroonians. So, dating Nigerians, basically, they will always show interest in your life. Like, um, what you want to do. 
like what you want to do career wise you know if you want to um study they will just always elevate you what experience you know not only education wise but just also in your way of thinking in your way of life there are people who will always push you to become yeah. better and to do They'll more push you out of your comfort zone. this yeah this is my yeah. number one thing i yeah. love even having them as no, friends it's true. I, I even have, having no, them as guys, friends dating is different from having friends i have okay. friends who are west african yeah him being one of them malik has been there for me especially i have a youtube channel guys by the way even if you didn't mention my youtube channel <laughs> yes no yeah you I mean, you're, anyway. you're known you are one of the biggest female you, 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 you are trying you know. to make me feel nice anyway <laughs> so he's been there supporting me like uh sometimes I, I didn't feel like posting i don't know what to do and he will be there to just you, you know see, Push, you know, you're not dating, but I'm still yes. pushing you to do things. Yeah, even as friends, they even they yeah. push you. Oh, yeah, and I know, life. and I know other friends as well who are very nice. Who I know they will see this video and they can see the other video that I. They know I always say that, so it's okay. Yeah, I know, I know. So, so yeah, yeah, guys, that's 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 the number one point I think for for me as a like personally. And it's it's a good point should be number one for everyone because you wanna definitely date someone who will help you grow. Obviously. Yes. And our relationship will go in with. Um, if it's not beneficial, you're not going to go into a relationship, yeah. right? Yeah, true. So, so for those ones who are asking why we love dating Nigerian men, these are the reasons, some of the reasons, okay? But why so, did you guys forget to mention that, I've seen these videos before saying that the reason most girls, I don't want to mention which girl, anyway, let me just mention Kenyan girls because on the, on the other video they were bashing us down there. It's okay, you're entitled to your opinion. Um... The being the positive thing they do for you, you can as well say they know how to treat a woman. They know a woman needs a woman needs to look good. Because one day we'll do a video about our own East African men. East Afri oh my yes. goodness. The good thing about Nigerian men, they know my woman needs to look good. My woman represent me. If she goes out there, she is going to represent me. So they always try to make you look good. You have to have a good hair, like good hair, like so everyone, they, they smell they know good, dress take care good, of, of their they women, know basically. that what my woman needs, so, because they say that she's my, <laughs> yeah, what? No, go oh, out, do my, yeah, so they feel like you represent them, so if someone sees their woman out there, and, hey, I've seen uh, Malik's girlfriend out there, and she was looking, shagala, bagala, gala, gala, it's representing Malik, yeah. so, they always want you to look good like yeah so that, that's something good and people always feel like the reason most kenyan girls date nigerian men is because they are after money or uh, they buy them with gifts stuff like that but then i feel like that's something a man should always do all men should be be just nigerian okay. men so though. you've ended your point i want to ask maybe today i might be speaking for east african men mm -hmm. so if you say oh, these are things that west african men do like they make sure you look good because when you go out there, you are obviously you are representing them. Yeah. Kenyan men don't do this for you. No. Of course. Of, yeah, I don't. <laughs> not all, but no. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, no. more. 99%, I was aiming out of 100%. Well, for me, time? when I was in Kenya, when I was dating a Kenyan guy in Kenya, the situation was different. The situation is different, but what I've heard about West African men, it will be the same even if they are dating you in Nigeria or in Ghana. Mm -hmm. It will be the same thing, they will do it even in Qatar. Yeah, yeah. But then one thing about a Kenyan, a Kenyan guy, if he's in Kenya, it depends as well. But in Qatar, they will always feel like, okay, we are getting paid, to, we, are, we are here working, we are getting well, paid, getting yeah, paid. or getting paid. But then they forget that, okay, you, there are small things, take a woman out, it's not only about um she's working as well she could take no, her out and, and, and going out doesn't hold, 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 mean kfc chemicals. and it doesn't mean, mean you have to spend a lot it can be like something simple will keep you indoors and cook ugali and sambal they know why they are calling you most of them they will tell you uh come <laughs> the, they do? The, uh, let me say this in kiswahili they will tell you da kutumanishia uba una kuja sangapi mkuje kwangu kuja sleep over and ukienda Oh, na jua ninu nenda panya. Ata pika ukweli, lakini the next thing. Una jua tu kwa ninu menda kwa nyumba yake. So, if you are Kenyan and you understand this, you know. Machali wa Kenya. I need a translator down there. Machali wa Kenya wata kutumanisha pesa uba. No wanda asichana wengi wa Kenya wana kulanga yo pesa uba. Kwa sabu wana jua, wakikuja, hakuna kitu ya mana watapata. 
<laughs> well, well agreed. <laughs> no, yeah, it's true. And it's, 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 no, Malik, you are you are you are West African, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you meet out, forget about Kenyan women or other female from other parts of the world. Let's say you are dating a Ghanaian girl. Mm -hmm. She's working here in Qatar. Both of you are working. Let's say you are working in the same company or different company. She's, you know very well she's getting paid. Would you not take her out? Would you not tell her, babe, your hair doesn't look good today? Yeah, criticize a lot. Yeah, your hair doesn't yeah. look... You, of course, you not say that. But then you'll say, babe, can I take you to a salon? You don't have to do it every day. She can do it herself Literally, most of the yeah. time. But once in a while, make your woman feel good. Tell her, go and fix your hair. I'm going to pay her. Go and fix your nails. I'm going to do that. Or take this. Take my card, go fix your hair. Exactly. Yeah. But you don't have yeah. to do it like every time. It's okay. She I mean, can do it as well. It's a way of allowed. showing a woman no. that I care about you. Not only I care about jiggy jiggy or something else, I care about other things about you. I want you to look good. I want you to feel nice. I take you out for a coffee, take you out for a dinner. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can be even it can even be KFC or McDonald's. But still, so you enjoy, 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 enjoy it. Exactly. Emulate from West. You need to learn from us. You're, you're still our brothers. Yeah. Yeah. I always see them complaining on TikTok. Oh, all gonna, Kenyan guys are going to Nigeria. I the comment men. section, but we're here for it. Oh, all, 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 all Kenyan guys, are Kenyan guys are going to the West African men. Because it's not about money at the end. Let's be realistic. It's not about money. It's about, it's about how you treat the woman. It's about how someone makes you feel, basically. Happiness. Yes. Because yeah. just like I said from the beginning, no one goes into a relationship yeah. having blank-minded yeah. or being blank-minded. Yeah. They go into a relationship with the you know sense of getting something from the relationship. Yeah, grow. Because basically. Exactly. Yeah. You need to benefit from it. Benefic benefiting doesn't necessarily have to be, be money. money. Time. You know what I mean. Little things. Like, you need to feel like, yeah. okay, when I was coming to this relationship, I, I was... Just, mm -hmm. One one underwear, excuse me to say. Okay, now I have like four. Mm. Thanks to this guy. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, do it for them. Kenyan men, learn. Munshia. What? Omo. You said Omo. You need to learn. But come on, don't mind us. We are just, you know, trying to add humor to this. Yes. I'm sure there are some, you know, very good Kenyan men out there. Of yes. course. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're amazing. I have friends who are Kenyan and they are very good. Me too. I've been a Kenyan. That was a long time ago. Okay. 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 And one day I want to hear from you talking about Kenyan girls. Yeah, yeah, we can do it now. He's but African. No, 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 no not no, Kenyan. No, no. He's okay. African. Mr. Oh, he's yes. African. Yeah. Okay. Kenyan nice women. Huh. They want we to show me wonderful. fire, but they don't know me. I have a we tough skin. We are wonderful. You have a tough skin, though. We are wonderful. You can't show me fire. Anyways, no, so they are dramatic. Yeah, back to the third point. Uh, it says they are focused and uh, ambitious. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. African yeah, yeah. Men. West African men uh, are very... For me, look, I'm not going to... They are goal-oriented people. Yeah, I'm not going to take the credit from Nigerians, but look. West African. Every corner you you like every big office you you enter in Qatar over here you find Nigerians over there. Yeah, that's this is true. because even if they don't know how to do it, they just apply. They send their CVs, and they believe. You know, even from us, we know we can learn on a job. You don't necessarily have to be a pilot to apply for an aviation job. Yeah, yeah. you understand. Yeah. Like you need to feel it over here. You can do it. Having passion to do something yeah. qualifies you like fifty percent already. That overconfidence will fuck you out. You know, <laughs> imagine you don't know how to do it, and then you think you 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 mistake overconfidence with passion. You know, like it, it's sad sometimes. Because, for example, when I came here, I realized a lot of um, Nigerian guys who were into safety. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I so a lot, a lot of, of them are doing safety. Exactly. Yeah. Because back then it was really paying well. Yeah. But now that because Qatar was there are no oh? constructions. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like it's really fucking people out. People who had the certificates back then. Are now jobless they are trying to you know by the way i want to mention something i know this video is not about that but i did a video on my channel saying that qatar has almost done 99 percent of their constructions Construction, and everything yeah. but saudi is Recruiting, doing the same yeah. yeah saudi is doing the same thing now so if you're looking for a job if done safety try and look at saudi as well saudi is a very good country as well and by the way, she let me do free advert for her. She's a makeup artist. She does hair. Free she sells hair. So this one over here feels nice. Bye. If you are dating an Nigerian <laughs> guy, from her. tell him to buy you a hair. See. Tell him to buy you hair from me. Yes. Yeah, so 
Uh, Even a Kenyan guy. guy. Yes, yes. Uh, Free advice. Both of us are from there. Yeah. yeah. And then you need to have one from me. Anyways, let's stick to uh, <laughs> our, yeah, our, our, our on that point. point of being ambitious also is one thing I like about them, a Nigerian, most of the Nigerian men, okay, let me not say most because I don't know everybody's story, but a few of my friends, when they came in Doha, they did not even come with good jobs. Some came even with no jobs, okay? But if you compare like the Kenyan or any other, okay, I will say Kenyan because I'm a Kenyan and I've interacted with Nigerians so just much. Just so, being honest, you know. Yeah, I'm just being honest. So if you compare, let's say, a Kenyan guy who came in Doha in 2013 and a Nigerian uh, man, oh, they are not, huge there's a difference. huge difference. Because Nigerians are like, okay, I came here as a security, they will study, they will always want to um, do ambitious. more. Yeah, they are very, very ambitious. So you can find someone like that who came here in 2013, maybe they were working as a security with a Kenyan guy, the Kenyan guy is still a security, satisfied, not even wanting to... Um, to do anything else with their lives, but a Nigerian but has way, started. That's, that's one thing about. Um, I'm sorry, but that's one thing about the security job in Doha. You know, security job over here is like one of the owned by Kenyans. It's easiest, easiest. <laughs> 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 he says. He says most of the security jobs here feels like they are owned by Kenyans. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's, most it's of them over there. Okay, guys, don't take it the wrong way. It's it's. We all start I, from I, somewhere. Okay, I started no, from somewhere also, but exactly. at least yeah. you know. Yeah, you add something like, how can I put it? Add value to yourself. Yeah, you add come value. I think I'm so, I'm even, if it's studying, come, even if it's no one, studying, you know. Even here, as we are sitting here, all of us, we started from somewhere. We started from Canada. somewhere. So yeah. every time when I always tell people, you can come. I mention, if I mention security job, a cleaner job, or um, it can be any, like, any job. They always tell me, oh, there is no engineering job. You did the engineer in in in, uh, in Nigeria or in Kenya or whatever. If you are coming here, humble yourself. Because these countries, most of the Gulf countries, they hire you through experience. experience. First yeah. get the Gulf experience and then after that, the exposure, you can... Yeah. 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 Yeah, so th the, that, is one, that is one of the many things I love about Nigerian men. Come as a cleaner or come as a, as a security, now someone is working in Qatar Petroleum, one of the biggest companies, and you said something very right, mm -hmm. there's no company you will, big company you will enter, a Nigerian is there. Another, another one extra point, Nigerians always pull each other. Like if they hear there's an opportunity, they don't feel jealous. They will they're go and call themselves. Well, you know, that's a very good point. So yeah. they're not jealous. They're always jealous. supporting themselves. They know, like they're always. They always generally, I've seen that. Yeah. Sorry, Even generally, I've you. seen that not only in working in the Middle East or something. Well, I've yeah. seen that even with uh, this celebrity, like. Nigerian celebrities. Even right. skit makers right. when you check Instagram, I'm even TikTok. Nigerians, yeah, they collaborate, they collaborate with small yeah. like uh, celebrity, like upcoming uh, maybe artists. TikToker or yeah. artists. They will push them. Someone is a comedian and they have like 200 followers. You will find that he's doing a collaboration with someone who has one point something or five million. Yeah. In Kenya, they will have an event. They will only call someone. That event is a comedian event. They will call. They would rather call someone who is not even a comedian to just be there because to put to put us there like to you know the gap to fill the gap of because they cannot even go low and say let's call someone who is an upcoming yeah. he's on youtube Growing. so that's something in general i like about nigerians yeah. like they support each other they don't care if you have two view followers or how many they will support Growing. you and th this thing they always do by the way it's called japa <laughs> what? No, let me say that. Okay. I will say this. I don't, I don't even know no, I want to say this. I will, it's coming here because you know what? You know one thing about us, me being a Kenyan, I will tell you the truth. One thing about us, we can have an information. I'm not me. I'm not saying me because I have a YouTube channel. I'm sharing a lot, and people always come on my comments saying that oh, you should not share all this. You should just do the blah blah blah. One thing I've seen videos of Nigerians doing. They will tell you in details. Do this, do this, you can come to this country. Do this, you can japa. They give her information. They give information. Hey, East Africans, they will get, they will do the process. Get to that country. Live for one year. Even if you ask them, they'll tell you, I don't know. And to be honest, I my didn't, uncle did it my for uncle me. did it for yeah. me. 
I don't know. <laughs> we all know that if you go to an embassy, you go by yourself. By so you can, even when the consulate asks you a question, you always have your documents. Mm -hmm. So you have to know which documents you have. You will ask someone, which document do you present? I don't know. My brother, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, don't that's a whole other topic. We'll but a Nigerian will Let's give you step by step information. information. I did this, generous I did with that. Generous with information. Yes. Generous with money. Generous with everything. <laughs> well, let's move to the fourth point. I think we've stayed here for yeah. So the fourth point is West African men praise their women. Ah. Yes, that is almost what I, I think she said before we got to the point. Yeah, like they, ah, there are women represent. You them. people go, go 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 and date West Africans because yes. if I say you will just feel I'm saying this man she will feel make you. She feel <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this man will make you feel at your best. Like the way they will the way they will. I like how <laughs> can, you know, like can, can, you, can you zoom? Can you take us out and zoom her? Wow. Like she's very like, passionate about yeah, yeah, They're actually very passionate about their women. Mm. If you get a Nigerian man Ay. and he loves you, hey, ah. just ah. sister. As I'm speaking, start looking for an one. Ed, uh, and you're sitting Kevin next to a guy. What about that? No, no, she's well, I, I used to be there. Don't take, don't feel like I'm dumb. I used to feel like Nigeria and Ghana. <laughs> Why like this? No, this, not this, this man will praise you. Hmm? Like they will, they will just make you feel love. They will make you feel like you're the it thing. You know, even if you're not. They even will if make you let me feel correct you. Ah, ah, even if they're they, yeah. that's why on that the other video we say this. They know how to play their cards. Even if they are cheating or they are doing, they have uh, 10, 20 women aligned. They will make sure all of you feel the same. Special. And like that's why they can marry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You will even not know if they are dating other girls because they try to make you feel. Oh. When, when, when you're together, they give you time, attention, as in guys, ladies, not guys, ladies. Go and look for at least have an experience. Enjoy your life a little bit. Why are you not telling your friend that? Huh? And uh, your friend is sitting here. Ask him. <laughs> I don't even know. As of I now, gave up, I gave up on. She doesn't love good things. She does not love good things. That is why she has not dated a Nigerian. So that point, I, if I if I emphasize on that point, you people will will think something. I else. think yeah, this point goes into a uh, sixth point, yeah. which says um, West African men have strong relationship values. Yeah. So like they they really value. They you, really right? they they do. They actually yeah. do. When you're dating them, they actually even if. I think today she's doing a lot of talking. Like even if they're cheating, even if they're cheating, because this is, the, doing, this is the best part about the Nigerian men for for her. So <laughs> let let her shine. Even if they are cheating, this man will make you feel like uh, uh, everything is in order. So that's why it can be a little bit tricky or hard for you to know if a Nigerian guy is has a wife. You. Yeah. Oh, if you are not smart enough, I said in the other video, in order to date these people, you have to spend time with them, you have to know them, know their ways, okay, both good and bad, but so that whenever like you, 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 something fishy is happening, you can be able to tell, because these people are smart, so you can't go there if you're not smart, so. So, um, in our previous video, she said, one idea, and, okay, so now I'm putting you on the spot, and please don't laugh. I'm not going to cut this video, it's just going to be straight, she said an Nigerian told her that they have the package of getting Kenya in place today. Let us know. Oh my god, I package? don't think it's a good idea, Barbara. <laughs> no, no let me just say, them. let me just say, oh my god, because I've seen I've, I've seen videos of uh Kenyan men complaining on TikTok. Oh, why, why, why all yeah, they are going so the package is mm -hmm. they know Kenyan women they like to look good. And they like money. The, uh, of course. No, no, every woman loves money. Every, but I know with, with us it's on another level. <laughs> but uh, I, I do love money, guys. Let me not lie to you. I love money. And that's why I'm here in Qatar working because I love money. Um, the package is hair, iPhone, now is iPhone 13 or 14. 15 Pro Max. <laughs> 15, yeah. 15 Pro Max. And uh, what else? Probably hmm, very important be, to have be, water. Be. Huh? <laughs> hey <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> because Kenyan women can drink. 
can drink yes, can, 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 they can drink they day. can drink for the whole Kenyan nation. <laughs> No, they, they can do for the do. whole Africa. Yes. Well, so, Africa, where, they, where, where are you, drink. Nigerian men, they know they, when they tell you, where are you, come, what is it called, Aluta. Mm. Kenyans, they call it Aluta. Come, after party, and you know how Nigerians, they always, Africans, they like, they like after party. Yeah. So they know very well. If I get her a wig, mm -hmm. if I get her an iPhone 13, iPhone 13, guys, just know you can buy your own iPhone, by the way. If you're working uh, in Qatar, you can buy your own iPhone. I, I, but I don't think I fit in that in that package. I'm but not, they always use that package. If you see any, if you, uh, uh, most of the Kenyan girls, I'm, I, I sell hair, and they come to me, and I always, I'm always honest to my clients. I always tell them, listen, if you've not lived in Qatar for a long time, and you want to start wearing or um, living, getting, big. living big because you're seeing if I remove my weave, if I remove my makeup I'm totally something, someone else mm -hmm. so it's not that it's not me, it's me but there, it's always a good way to save and don't fall or date someone who is married and because he's buying you a wig of course you can come and pay for the wig I don't mind. So I think some people would still choose to go with a guy even if the guy uh, is yeah, still married. Yeah, of course. Especially if, because they can, if, you know, if there is something you really want, if it's yeah. beneficial. Of course, both of you are benefiting because he knows why he came to you and he knows the pack. Most of the Nigerian men, they always know because from my experience, some of them have tried to come to me and they always tell me on my Instagram like, oh, I will get you a nice phone, I will get you hair, I will buy you a big woman, right? And then I'm like, I'm like, I have my own hair, I have yeah, my yeah. own This package is not for like, me. What's, what's for people who are still new? Yeah, 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 you know. Mostly exactly. for people that's who are new. And that's like why Nigerian men, you have to be, you have to be, be smart. If you're new, let me, let me be honest. If you're, if you're new in Qatar, if you're new in Qatar and you're from Kenya, sis, come close, come close. Draw me here. Come close. Draw if you're Europe. Kenyan or you're from Uganda, there are not so many South Tanzanians Africa. here, South or Africans South or whatever. Africa. If you're from Kenya and if you're new here, me, I will advise you, take at least six months before dating or getting into a serious relationship. I was there, I fall in love as well, character development. And now, that back then, it was even better because I didn't used to think about I want a wig, I want a phone, I want this and this and this. But nowadays, those are the things these guys are trying to, you know, attract you with. And then when you go there, I've met so many girls who are heartbroken. Oh, I, and that's why I always, Nigerian men, they have good tongue. Girls who are heartbroken, and I didn't know she, he had a wife, I, you knew. So stop pretending you knew he had a wife. <laughs> you are just there thinking that he will leave your wife for you. They will never leave their wife for you. If you want to date, you, I know one thing I believe, you can never have your own man. Not unless he's dead. If he's still alive in, on this earth and he has two eyes, that's not your man. Hmm. But... That's deep, huh? No, it, it's true. Yeah, that's so how, that's agree, what I believe in. with. That anyway, that's what that I live okay. with because I know Men are created in a way that they can admire. They're not like women. Men can yes. admire. And when man, a man starts thinking with the other head, that's it. But they will never leave their wives. So, sweetie, if you are new in Qatar, at least say like six months, try to learn about Qatar dating. or not. It doesn't have to be Qatar. Anywhere. If you relocate to any country, try to learn about dating life. How is dating there? How? Because... If I give an experience of when I came to Qatar when I was new, and now dating has changed. Mm -hmm. Before, I used to meet people who were taking me out. They would not even ask me, come to my house. Or, can I buy you this phone? And you can come with me. Can I get you this so you can come with me? No. But By the now, way. Yeah. But now, hi. Send me a location. Send me a location. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to pick you up. Um, you. Yeah, I, will so buy, I will buy you. I don't know. Shopping. Someone told me one thing. I will buy you. I will take you for shopping. I will do you. The, I will take you to Dubai. And I'm like, eh. Why didn't you go? Eh. No. <laughs> That's why I'm saying it's different. It's different before and now. You are going to take me to Dubai to do. Oh, to mini mini. Still shop, of course. Of course, still shop. But then, take me to. We can go to Dubai. I don't mind going. I love traveling. I want to go to Sweden. But. 
don't try to show me you want to do things so that because you want to get something very 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 fast <laughs> that's what i'm saying it's different from before and now okay it yeah. makes sense but yeah at least make sure you date a nigerian in your lifetime enjoy yourself <laughs> yeah if you want to be treated to be treated like a baby queen. girl, a queen, a queen, a baby girl, a princess, an angel, all these nice, nice things. They West African, East African men. We we this love is you. So deep about it. Yeah. I'm saying East African like, men. I I love you guys from a distance, honey. Yeah, they are nice. They are nice men. The way they this one men. is this one is loving Nigerian men from a distance. I'm loving East African men from a distance. So just please just, just say there. I will love you when you're there because yeah, <laughs> your tongue. Yes, guys. So that's it for today. Malik, yeah. we have taken mm -hmm. over your... That's it for today, guys. We're going to come back with a Next video time, about East African we to, ladies. We need to talk East about... East African. Yeah, we're going to have some, some... Maybe we should West talk about... Men. Okay, okay. We are not going to put... We're not, we're, no, our, next time our, we're going yeah, to talk... About, next time yeah. we're going to talk about... Maybe comment down below if you want to see that. Because yeah. it's not fair that we are talking about West African men only. Next time, we are going to talk about... Dating in Qatar in general, yeah. like there are so many nationalities here. They are not only Nigerians. They do all these things we mentioned here. Hey, character development is very high here. Yeah. They are Arabs. Actually, Kenyans, Kenyans, they are give, Kenyans give very heartfelt character development. Yes, they, they are, are Kenyan. Character development. Yeah. So there are white men here, which are very good at character development. And you will ask me, I will explain that. There are men from. East Africa, they are Arab men, and they are people from Am Am American, Black it's Americans, it's especially they are Bangalis, as well. Bangalis, and they are Filipinos, Asian. So we will do that video <laughs> next time. So next time we'll do a general so that it doesn't feel like we are yeah. on we'll decide Nigeria. what they want next okay. on the comment okay. section. Okay. Comment, comment, okay. comment. Subscribe, like, Good. I was about to share. share. Sana. Come away in Kenya, we may, we may do more kind of sissy. Kiswahili ni ngumu. Kiswahili. Kama wewe ni Kenya na umejumuika na sisi siku hii ya leo na umeangalia ume hii video, umetazama hii video hadi tamati. Please, huyu ni ndugu yangu kutoka Ghana. Hakikisha umebonyeza hiyo kidude ya red ya nyekundu. Nyekundu. Hakikisha wow. umebonyeza kidude chekundu utakuwa mmoja katika channel ya Malik Standi. Asanteni sana. Kama wewe ni Kenya now now watch the video please na kuomba kenyans cannot speak without saying something in english <laughs> na kuomba ka subscribe subscribe ni kwa me, kwa channel ya brother yangu yeah. basically she's just trying to tell kenyans to subscribe no i trust her i know she will not fuck me up on my own channel <laughs> <laughs> anyways yeah, so, so they are youtubers i'm not but if you know me follow this follow these people yeah yes. yes so thank you for being part of today's video thank we love you. you please don't forget to subscribe like this video let's share show some love show, show some, some love show, show bye some love. bye, bye.